I'd like to see her achieve things that globally women haven't yet achieved, potentially pushing the boundaries. Definitely female bouldering. I think she's capable of going into the higher V numbers. I mean, she's already got to V13, so it's not you know, a million miles for her to go. It's just a matter of kind of going through that process. We've got plenty of time. Shona Coxie. I'm a professional climber and I've been climbing since I was four years old, so for 16 years now. I think it was just the sport that I was best at and I was really competitive and I saw a French free climber on the TV when I was three years old and totally was totally fascinated by the sport and that's all I ever wanted to do was go climbing and my first competition I absolutely hated it but seemed to carry on with them so I must have enjoyed something. It's definitely a love-hate relationship because there's times where you feel so sick and so nervous and you just don't want to be out there and like I really question why I do it and then afterwards it's like I wouldn't ever question stopping competing because I love it and on the competition scene we travel together, we climb together and we compete together and we spend all this time in isolation so you're know, like a little family traveling together like even the people off on the teams like we all know each other so well now we're all really good friends and it's nice to have that really relaxed environment in competition. I climb with guys my entire life and I predominantly do climb with guys because they're my friends and that's why like that's what I've grown up doing. It's not that I don't want to climb with women. I rarely notice the differences personally in my own climbing because if they're stronger than me on a move, I, I'll find a different way, I'll use a different foothold or I'll jump for it. And I think generally as a massive generalisation, guys are taller, guys are stronger and they're able to do more because of those factors. But I don't think necessarily that women have to come behind that. What I love the most about the sport is that it's so diverse and you can enjoy it in so many different ways. I mean, I spend months and months and months training, hanging up a fingerboard and campusing and on a board and training as hard as I can. And then I go to the comp season and it's totally different again. And then I go outside rock climbing, bouldering, and it's totally different. Like, it's not the same sport for me. It doesn't feel like it is at all. I feel like I can do my work and go do competition climbing and have all of that and then kind of almost go on holiday and go rock climbing and they're the same thing like they're still climbing but it's like such a different thing it's like a treat to go out door climbing and at weekends sometimes I'm like oh yeah I can have a rest day and go rock climbing but it's not really a rest day because I'm going rock climbing but it's a rest day from training it's like a rest day from work yeah you can't really get bored of it because there's so much to do. She's an incredibly enthusiastic climber and ultimately for Shauna it's about the climbing. Um, she didn't you know, decide to go climbing when she was little just because she wanted to beat everybody or do anything like that. People that do it just for the winning, they don't have that overall strength, but you know, she's confident in her ability to go climbing and have fun. And if she wins a competition, fantastic. And if she doesn't, well, we'll be going climbing again tomorrow anyway, so <laughs> it's all good really. <laughs>